What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. As you can see, GPUs on the table, and we have just received some batteries for my solar setup to get these things up and running. So if you guys are into that, let's do it. So here we are with the EnjoyBot 12 volt 100 amp hour Life PO4 lithium iron phosphate deep cycle rechargeable battery. Now these are going to be going right next to the Battleborn batteries that are actually in my trailer and I found these guys online. They actually do have a full website and everything will be down in the description below if you guys are interested in this company. This is dirt cheap compared to every other lithium ion phosphate battery that I could find personally online. This company seems like it's worth it even though I haven't hooked them up yet just by the looks of this battery. First I want to unbox this. I want to show you guys what it looks like when it actually comes in in the mail. The terminals on top is something I want to point out because it's a very nice upgrade to me from the Battleborn batteries so let's get into it. All right, box has been removed. This is exactly what it looks like inside that cardboard box, as you can see right there on the floor. Now it has plenty of foam padding, so it's not gonna get dinged up during shipping, which is really neat. They do have a book that it comes with. And then on the side here, as you can see, we have some terminal caps and screws. And let me get into that in just a second. Let's get this thing all pulled out here. All right, so this is the pamphlet it comes with. Everything is removed. Now, again, these are the screws and caps that come with it. You guys can see I already have them on this unit right here. Now, the thing I wanna point out about this, they have these little protection caps, but there is threads inside this unit. I know it's kinda of hard to see, but you guys can kinda of tell. Obviously, these screws screw right in. The Battleborn batteries do not have this. They have a screw and a nut on the other side, which is a total pain in the ass to tighten up. This makes it so much simpler. And not to mention, this price of this battery is literally half the price of a Battleborn battery. Now, as you guys can see, the other thing that the Battleborn doesn't have that this does have is a nylon or just a strap right here. This is actually pretty strong. You can pick the battery up from it, no problem. It actually works fairly well and you can remove it. As you can see, I removed this one and I have this guy right here. So yeah, I'm probably gonna remove these inside the crypto mining trailer because I don't need them once they're in there, but I will put that back on in a second. Fairly easy to remove, so super pumped about that. All right, so real quick, let's get into the specs of this unit. So as you guys can see, again, it's a Life PO4 battery. It is 12.8 volts nominal. We have a standard discharge of 20 amps, which is kind of cool. The normal capacity is 100 amp hours. We have a max discharge current of 100 amps, standard charge current of 20 amps, and charging voltage of 14.4. 14.6 volts max. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty comparable to the Battleborn that's out there, which is nice. Discharge, it says negative 20 C to 60 Celsius. You wanna store these batteries at 50% capacity or recharge every three months. Also, as you guys can see, top left-hand corner of this battery, it says low temperature cutoff protection. BMS cutoff charging under zero degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It says do not charge the battery under zero Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, obviously for the safety of this battery. So that is uh, pretty awesome. I mean, at least it has a low temperature cutoff sensor, supposedly that's inside this. I'm not gonna be one of those guys that's gonna rip this thing apart. So just giving you guys that, there's plenty of videos out there. If you guys wanna see the inside of this battery, I have actually watched some of those and it is pretty neat. So now what we need to do is get these things outside of the crypto mining trailer. I wanna get these things wired up. These are 12 volt batteries. I need to series connect these and then throw them into the bus bar over in the trailer so we can get these things working alongside the Battleborns. Let's do it. All right, so here we are inside the crypto mining trailer. Now you can see this is my solar setup up here. Obviously, these are the new batteries we just received. These are the Battleborns and I wanna point out the terminals. As you can see, the bolt and a nut, like I said, you can see I scratched the crap out of it trying to tighten this thing up because it's a pain to hold on to two things at the same time. This is just nice having a Phillips head or a hex head to pinch the wire directly in. You don't have to worry about holding back on yourself. So 
Again, I like that design way better on these batteries personally. Now what I'm gonna do, I think, is put these two batteries side by side and put the Battleborns on top that way I can run directly up into the negative on this side, directly up into the positive on this side from one of those terminals because again, I need to put these in series just like the Battleborns here. We have the positive going up to the bus bar, then we have the negative connecting to this positive, creating the 24 volts across both batteries. That's what we're gonna do exactly for these two right here. But first, I wanna take my multimeter real quick and just test the battery terminals right here to see what the voltage is right now on these batteries when they show up as you guys know this one was just opened out of the box so let's test that one first all right so voltage we're going to hit the orange button until it comes up to the uh, line with the three dots right there now we're ready to test dc voltage now we're going to take the red here put that on the positive terminal and the black onto the negative and you can see we're at 13.20 volts. Okay, so the battery's fully charged. Let's test the top one now, same thing. Positive and negative, and 13.20. So exactly the same, that's amazing. Now, just for reference, we're gonna look at the Battleborn and do the same exact thing. I just wanna test the positive and the negative right here. And you can see we're at 13.2, so that adds up pretty well. Now, I want to show you guys real quick. Let's test the cross legs between the two. So it will be the negative down here and the positive up here creating 24 volts. So right there, you're looking at 26 volts, 26.06, .06, which is awesome. That means it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, and that's how I need to wire up these batteries over here. All right, so how does that look? I got those two down there on the bottom. I have some two gauge wire right here. I have a bunch of terminal connectors here. These are two by five sixteenths. They fit perfectly on the bolts. So what I'm going to do is again, positive to negative right here. So between this terminal and this terminal will be 24 volt. Then we're gonna go negative here to the negative bus bar here. We're gonna take this positive. I'm gonna ride it through a separate fuse. I have a 250 amp fuse right here. Now, I don't know personally if I can actually put these together on the same fuse and like put it on the outlet side of the bus bar, which is this wire right here going directly up to the uh, kill switch. So I really think I could do that personally and I don't need that before. So you guys can let me know in the comments below if anybody deals with solar, but for now I'm gonna mount this one right here on the bottom exactly like this guy and we're going to run the back side of the fuse up to the bus bar and then that'll you know essentially be feeding the whole bus bar and the leg out going to the grow watt with four batteries instead of two so let me wire this up you guys will see it in a second all right everything is tied together so positive to negative positive goes into this fuse then it goes around and it ties into the bus bar then we have a negative line coming up and same thing going directly into the second nut on that side i want to test to make sure we have 24 volts across those two terminals right there so let me just get this power meter All right, so positive and negative, 26.26. And then again, testing the Battleborn batteries, 26.25. So they're literally right where they should be, which is a good thing. All right, let's turn this thing back on and hope for the best. All right, she's back on. Nice. Now I'm super excited. To be honest, I love the look of these batteries. These two guys right here are going to be uh, taken apart and I'm going to lay them exactly like this on top. But I do have two more of these guys coming in, I think. So I'm gonna be laying those on top of those directly. Then we're gonna disassemble this box. And in theory, it was a good idea, but I'm not really a fan of the look anymore. I'm gonna put these bus bars on the wall and then we're gonna uh, situate everything and I might end up moving that combiner box. But hopefully you guys understand series and parallel. What my plans are for this whole setup is I'm gonna get a whiteboard with a more or less a marker right here on the wall. And what we're gonna do is do some real life like wiring on the drawing board 
and then we can like reference this and talk about it. So if you guys have any specific questions about wiring up batteries for solar, wiring up a combiner box, wiring up this grow watt inverter, please leave it in the comments below because I am more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. But I am excited. Let's let this thing ramp up. I want to make sure that these batteries are running as they should and we'll check back on it in a second. As you can see, the panels are feeding the batteries with 536 watts. So that's all the panels combined. Now I have 1800 watts of solar panels. I may end up adding 2000 watts. So two more uh, panels to create 2000 watts. This thing can only handle 1900 watts. But what I've noticed is you actually don't get the full 100 watts out of the panels. I think if I hook up 20 panels all together creating 2000 watts it'll simplify my life because then i could take these six that are right here and two more panels if i just purchase two more and i can create two more poles like this and then they won't be in the shade at all for half the day they'll be in the sun most of the day just like these guys right here so let me know what you guys think about that as well all right so everything's running off the batteries as you can see it shows i think that says pv so panel voltage is 300 watts right now the sun's kind of getting some cloud coverage you have 120 volts out we're pulling still 250 watts for the ipolo right here if you guys didn't see the video on this go check it out but yeah this uh seems to be working fine there we go pit sun just came back out as you can see 600 watts now and climbing which is awesome i've only seen this get to about 800 even though i have 1900 watts of solar panels so i'm really wondering if the uh lower wattage on these two right here are really affecting the uh other two from working correctly but either way everything's into a combiner box seems like it's going okay solar panels are charging the batteries and feeding the ipolo so i'm happy with this guys enjoy bot you guys are fantastic these batteries are definitely amazing looking i mean they have all the specs i'll leave them right here on the screen so you guys can check them out also again like i said i will leave all the links in the description below for you guys to go check these out these batteries are literally half the price of the battleborns they seem like they're just as well built if i'm not mistaken anybody out there wants to correct me feel free but they're good to like five thousand cycles same with these i mean literally the specs are comparable like it really is just comparable so i don't know maybe a little things inside might be different but there is complete teardowns of this battery and this battery online you guys can go find those if you would like again enjoy bot thank you so much for sending these batteries over and until next time guys i'll catch you real soon and we'll be adding some more of those batteries to the system peace out